Buffalo grass treatments continue across parts of southern Arizona to get the plants under control. News for Tucson's Nicole Costantino joins us live this morning with more on how the monsoon may affect the treatment process. Nicole. Good morning. While this year's monsoon has caused an increase in buffalo grass, it's also needed to treat it. I talked to the National Park Service and they say it takes a long time for buffalo grass to grow, but it can actually produce seeds in about just a few weeks. So when we see a very wet monsoon like this year, it's years of seeds germinating and then spreading. So now the National Park Service is going into the second phase of treatment, which is where they use a helicopter to spread spray the herbicide onto the plant, but this new option is much more precise. This is a different helicopter. It sprays with a spot sprayer, um, which is a device that hangs from the helicopter about a hundred foot cable and he can turn a spray off and on. So he comes in and nearly hovering over these small patches. NPS tells me last year's dry and patchy summer actually helped them make a lot of progress by pulling it out manually. If we have a drier monsoon like last year, they'll be able to make a lot more headway in terms of pulling it out. But if we have a wet monsoon like this year, we are going to be seeing a lot more buffalo grass. Live from Saguaro National Park, Nicole Constantino, News 4 Tucson.